Hi, this is Josh here at Tech Spec, and this is um, sort of part two of uh, my how-to videos on the Google Add-on Tool Highlight Two, Highlight Tool. <laughs> if you need to see the first one, which uh, I call the Overview or Intro, there will be a link down uh, below the video. So, <clears throat> assuming that we have already covered the basics of Highlight Tool. Um, if you go into the add-ons menu and look in highlight tool, you'll notice there's share highlighters, import highlighters, and associate. So um, I wanted to cover how to create, how to use the highlighter library, which will um, help us with the share and import highlighter tools. So first let's take a look at highlighter library to see what it means to create a set of highlighters. So you can have more than one set of defined highlighters at a time. So for example, this one would be for close reading and you can see um, what, how, and really the sets are defined by the label. So here's a uh, fiction annotation is another one that I've got. And then here would be one that a teacher might use. This would be um, correction. So you can either add set here once you're in the highlighter library, or you can click create highlighters. Um, and it's really easy, so uh, let's say we're going to do a bloom set, so uh, we would start with remember, and then we are click the little plus, and they can't all be red, so let's click the color block, and then this would be um, understand, I don't know why there's a capital S in the middle of understand, and then if I wanted to, to take it away, I would click a little minus here, but I don't, so... Um, we'll go with blue for apply okay and then we click uh, create so these would add on to our current set so I'm often asked like how many highlighters can you have in a set um, and this is what seven eight so yeah this is not uh, this is too many because I'm on a big monitor if your kids were on Chromebooks or a smaller screen like they'd have to scroll up and down plus I didn't actually mean to put that here so so when we use the create highlighter tool it adds on to our current set and since 8 is too many and I didn't really mean to put my bloom stuff here uh, we just click edit and uh, we click delete in the little editor and that's how you can add and and subtract highlighters to a set but to add a new set we're going to go back into the highlighter library and what we're going to do is click add set and then we got to give it a name so we'll call this one blooms and we'll call that first highlighter understand and then we click plus to get another one we're going to have to scroll up pick a new color and then um, I guess I'm doing them out of order but that's okay because I will show you how you can change order it's very easy. You just click the plus up and down, and now the places are switched. Uh, see that? I can just keep flipping them around. So I'm going to do one more just for demonstration purposes here, remember? Um, and again, if you're not on a Mac, you may have uh, something that looks more like this. So uh, just for my Windows and Chrome OS friends, I'll, I'll do it this way. And then set, and then we click save, and you'll notice it's changed over here. Um, so if we were going to add um, one more, let's do a green one and we'll call this analysis whoops okay so now we've got our new set and here's the deal is if a, a especially in secondary if a student has to set all these for each teacher and that that's the upshot of the of the highlighter library is you know I have mine separated out by different functions but these could just as easily say Mr. Harris, Mrs. Smith, uh, Miss Stewart, uh, Miss Flu Mrs. Flewelling, Miss Martin, and then every teacher could have their own set. Um, additionally, they could be broken out by tasks, but it means that the student doesn't have to keep resetting. So how do we get our highlighters to our students the first time? Well, if you give them something with all the right colors, you can come up to add-ons and to highlight tool and click associate. And what it will do is it will set this block of text here and these are all the hex codes for the colors and then what the student could do is come here 
and say import highlighters and it would be able to read it it would have the name right here and then you see here's all the labels and here are the color codes but if I didn't want to associate if I just wanted to start out the school year maybe I'm running Google Classroom or Schoology and I just need to send them a Google Doc with the highlighter codes on it so they could be ready to go once we start going um, then what I can do is once I have mine set let's come back to uh, add-ons and highlight tool and then we'll go share highlighters and now what it's doing is it's creating a new document and we'll look at this new docu document and you see it's like what it had with associate uh, with the associate function but this one has um, directions and I'm gonna I'm going to go ahead and increase the size so they're a little bit easier to see but you see it says go to add-ons highlight tool import highlighters to add these highlighters to your library and go to highlighter library after starting um, the add-on to select this set as your current set so these are the directions to you as the teacher or the person who is sharing highlighters share this document with others if you want them to import alternately copy be the text between the uh, asterisks now uh, one caveat you do need to share this they need to have edit access because that's how they can they're gonna have to open their add-ons menu if you give them view only then their add-ons menu won't open and the same thing with comment only however you can give them a view only copy and then they can file make a copy and make their own copy and set their highlighters so I'm gonna go ahead and share this with one of my other accounts that's the current account and send so now I'm gonna to switch to that other account see this is the purple account where I originate this is my the blue account where I sent it to so I'm going to refresh the page this is my shared with me section of Google Docs my highlighter template key I'll go ahead and open that and you see we have that same document now before I import I'm gonna show you the highlighter library that I do have already in this account so I'll go ahead and click start so see I shared if we look right here this is my blooms set so if I click on this accounts highlighter library I have the close reading correction I have a history set over here so I don't have a bloom set already so what I this is how easy this is. So just go to the add-ons from this document, go to highlight tool, import highlighters, and you see the little working on the bottom. And then it asks me, uh, oh, it thinks this is the view only set. Nope, this is cancel. I'm, that's from a previous demo. So um, if you get that, what I'm going to try is to reset the page or refresh the page. and there you go so if you get that little glitch just refresh the page it should be okay blooms yep these are the colors I'm supposed to get so I'm gonna say okay and then we get this confirmation your current uh, will now be the last set imported so I'm gonna click okay and then it pops it open for us and we can see we have it here when we come into our highlighter library we see it's at the bottom now it's our last set um, and you can use these left and right to uh, the up and down arrows over here on the left to um, move it up in case you want it closer to the top. Um, but this is uh, a really useful function so each teacher can share their own set of highlighters with the labels and the colors. And, um, you know, if you're in Google Classroom, I would keep this in the, um, not in the stream because that, that flows, I would keep this in the about section. Uh, that many of us never use but you know just keep it as a static document there and if a kid accidentally goofed it up or erased one of their highlighters they could they could fix it okay so that is um, creating highlighters creating highlighter sets and sharing and importing highlighter sets in highlight tool uh, which is one of my favorite Google Docs add-ons so I hope that was helpful for you and I wish you and your students happy googling